personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, you know, it is official. Canelo versus John Ryder is made. And now, you know, like, people are coming out the woodwork saying Canelo's out here cherry picking, Canelo this, Canelo that. And listen, it's, it's crazy that that's how you know this year is just a different year because generally speaking, like, I'm the guy who made Canelo exposed by Bivol's channel name. You know, I'm not really known as the biggest Canelo Alvarez fan, but contrary to popular belief, I do respect him and I do think he's an A-level fighter. So with that being said, I don't think John Ryder is a bad fight. And, and, and quite frankly, and quite oppositely for most of the boxing world, I actually think it's, I think John Ryder is one of the best opponents he ever fought at 168. Honestly, because, uh, you know, a lot of people these days in this day and age of boxing, like I think John, John Ryder, John Ryder is a good example of, hello, morning. John Ryder is a good example of how, uh, of how fans perceive losses and why fighters don't take fights because he we have a guy with John and John Ryder who he's 32 and 5. He has five losses. But if you look at his last 10 fights, he's 8 and 2. Two of those losses were two controversial losses and where he was on the wrong end of a hometown decision. Uh, most famously, one against Callum Smith for the world title and for the uh, Ring Magazine title. And um, less famously against Rocky Fielding. He lost to Rocky Fielding, but he really won that fight. They, they, they robbed him in that fight. Both fights were in Liverpool against two Liverpool fighters who were the A-side fighter. But the consensus is in both fights that John Ryder won those fights. Because I keep seeing people say, oh, well, John Ryder lost to Rocky Fielding. John Ryder lost to Callum Smith. First of all, he didn't lose to them. He got robbed in those fights. Second of all, you know, them fight, okay. What I was saying is, second of all, if you want to know that, if you want to know how much of a robbery the Rocky Fielding fight was, go on YouTube right now. I want you, I want anybody who who has shit to say about John Ryder, go on YouTube right now or Daily Motion or anywhere on Google, and and tell me where you can find a John Ryder Rocky Fielding uh, fight, the full fight in its entirety, a copy of the fight. Anybody who can do that, you know, put it in the comments down below, because I've looked, I've searched near. I've searched far and I've searched wide for that John Ryder Rocky Fielding fight and it would be easier to find the nuclear codes than to find that fight in its entirety. And the reason why you can't find that fight in its entirety is because sometimes these promoters, when, when, when their fighters get their ass whooped and, the, and, and their fighters get a good decision, they want to hide those fights from the public and, you know, you can't find them nowhere, you know? So with that being said, John Ryder is 32 and 5. Yes, that's, that's true. But, like, go look at the record. Like, go look deeper. You know, when he fought Billy Joe Sauna for the British title, that was, like, many years ago. Um, I, I would even say, personally, he fought a better version of Billy Joe than Canelo fought. Because the, 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 the version of Billy Joe that Canelo fought was one foot in and one foot out of boxing. The version that John Ryder fought, you know, he was a guy that was hungry to, and, and, and determined to prove what he could do in the sport. And he was at his optimal best weight class, 160, right? So he got the better version of Billy Joe, and you know, I, I, Billy Joe beat him. It was a very close fight. It could have went either way, but uh, yeah, there's that as well. Then you look at like fights against like uh, Nick Blackwell, and I think the guy Adam Etches and all them guys. Them, them, okay, he lost to those guys, but them fights was like years ago. Like years ago, you, you, you're having to reach back eight, nine, ten years. You know, people change in life. People change like the seasons in life. And fighters can develop and fighters can get better. And what time, experience, and a big sample size has proven to us about John Ryder is that he has gotten better with time. So if you're out here talking about guys that he lost to 9, 10 years ago, you're a dickhead and you don't know shit about boxing. That's just what it is. John Ryder is the most underrated 168-pounder, the most underrated super middleweight in the world. You guys are quick to praise guys like David Benavidez, who beat up on 154-pounders at 168. You guys are quick to praise, you know, a lot of these fighters that really haven't done in the last two years, three years, they haven't done a fraction of what John Ryder's done. So does Don, does John Ryder, does he deserve the Canelo fight? You, da you damn right he does. He 100% deserves the Canelo fight because John Ryder 
has done what he's supposed to do and then some. You know, last year he fought Daniel Jacobs. Some people cry robbery about that fight, but Daniel Jacobs didn't even come to fight that night. He lost. Um, he beat him. Then the biggest, the biggest reason why he's even getting this fight is because of what happened with uh, Zach Parker. You know, Demetrius Andrade, who's a personal favorite here on the channel. He didn't do what he was supposed to do. He 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 wanted to play Mr. A side Monopoly money man, and and whatnot, and, and couldn't see the bigger picture. So he decided to pull out of a fight that was initially intended for him because of money. And John Ryder, actually, as a, a fighter from another promotional company with Matchroom, the Matchroom fighter and John Ryder took his place at the B side, beat the shit out of Zach, Zach Parker, made him quit and say, "Ooh, ooh, I got a boo boo," and then. With him winning that fight, he became interim champion, and that's why Kendall Alvarez is, is, is fighting him next. So, uh, you know, it's just like, if you want any evidence of why fighters don't take tough fights, if you want any evidence of why fighters try to hold on to that O for as long as they can, it's because of fighters like John Ryder, who will be like 32 and 5 because they actually had to fight top people, maybe do a little bit of learn, learning on the job because maybe they didn't have the biggest amateur background. And people want to sit here like I see stu stupid, like some of the stupidest people in boxing on Twitter say, oh, well, you know, he lost this guy, he lost that guy. They didn't even watch the fights. If you didn't at least watch the fights and you can't, and you can't break down the fights, we don't, don't talk about the fights, like honestly, you know. So uh, I'm happy for John Ryder. You know, I, I think he's earned it. Um, the only thing I will say, and, and, and I, was a bit, I was pissed off about this when the fight got announced. The only thing I will say is that... Uh, I'm a little uh, disappointed and frustrated at the fights in Mexico because I, I, I can't foresee, let's just say, right, if John Ryder was to go in there, and let's just say he does what he did to Callum Smith, let's say he um, he does enough to win the fight, it's it's clear to everybody that he won the fight, or most, most people that he won the fight, I, I don't foresee him getting a decision in Mexico. No way, no how. Canelo hasn't fought in Mexico since, like, God knows when, maybe Kermit Cintron. And that, was, and that was years and years ago, like the Kermit Cintron, Leonardo Tyner days. Yeah, that that it's been that long since he fought in Mexico, and now he's come back to Mexico for the first time as this big superstar, and, and be, being who he's been in boxing. So, boxing is a business, like Steve Kim says. Boxing is a business masqueraded as a sport. I don't see the judges, matchroom, and the boxing establishment allowing John Ryder to get a decision if he does enough to win against Canelo Alvarez. No way, no how. Why? Because they're trying to build up Canelo Alvarez because of the unfortunate part about boxing right now is that all the other guys who have any star potential, like your Earl Spences or anything like that, they don't fight. They sit on the shelf, they do nothing, they want to twiddle their thumbs and scratch their ass. So Canelo Alvarez really is the only true, one of the only true stars of the sport today because other guys are just lazy in comparison to him. Um, him and Anthony Joshua and Tank Though as far as like ticket sales and market value, these are the only guys that really move the needle in boxing outside of the hardcore boxing fans, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're going to try to build them up, and I don't think they're going to try to ruin that for little old John Ryder. But can John Ryder really go in there and legitimately beat Canelo? I think so. I, I, I think he's a, a much better fighter than people give him credit for. And if you guys, like, I'm more excited about this fight than I was Callum Smith. Callum Smith didn't have a snowball's chance of hell. Canelo Smith can never fuck with Canelo Alvarez. I, I, never, I, never th I never thought that fight was going to be competitive. I never thought he had a snowball's chance of hell of, of, of being competitive with Canelo Alvarez. And I even called it. If you go back and you should check the video. I called that fight one of the least competitive championship matchups of 2020. And it was. I was right. But I remember when I made the video, people crucified me for it. Because I would say at the time, I would have rather him seen him fight Caleb Plant. Um, all the guys in the division, or, or, or and, and even John Ryder. Go back and watch the video back in 2020. I said I'd rather him see. I, I'd rather him see Canelo fight John Ryder, the real champion. So, as far as I'm concerned, really, to me, this, this now that I think about it, now that I'm talking about it out loud, this might be. I'm gonna call this the real, the real undisputed fight, the real, uh, the real fight for the, for the lineal belt. Because although Canelo beat all the champions, Canelo Smith lost to John Ryder. He lost to him. He didn't beat he didn't beat John Ryder. So as far as I'm concerned, John Ryder is the uncrowned lineal 168 pound champion. So if Canelo wins this, now, 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 now he's a lineal champion. Now you can say he's undisputed. This is the real undisputed fight. So we'll see how it goes. But uh yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm just making this video to tell you guys that John Ryder is the most underrated 168 pounder. He's done more than most of your favorite 168 pounders. He's 
he's a guy that people are they hate Canelo so much. And it's crazy that I'm saying this because I'm known I'm known as a big Canelo hater, right? But it's funny how people gotta go back and they gotta reach to fights from eight, nine, ten years ago to discredit the guy. They gotta go back and reach for fights that they didn't even watch to discredit the guy. So uh, yeah, you know I'm, I'm happy for him, and I, and I hope it's a good fight. And I just the one thing I the one thing I'm hoping for and I'm praying for, and maybe I'm asking for a little bit too much because I know how boxing is, but I'm, I'm, all I'm asking for, you know, is just a little bit of fairness when we go to this fight. So no funny business with the drug testing, no funny business with the scales, no funny business with the reps, no funny business with the judges. Like, if Canelo knocks out John Ryder or, or, or outworks him and beats him clearly and convincingly, then he should, you know, fair play to him. But if not, you know, if, if I, I just want the fight to be fair, that's all. And that, that, that might be asking too much, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys agree with me? Is there anybody with sense out there in the world who thinks that John Ryder is the most underrated most underappreciated and disrespected super middleweight in the world leave your comments down below make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from daniel so until next time take care guys thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video click right here and make sure you subscribe much love from sunny south florida